think there's any question that the decision to overthrow Saddam Hussein was the correct decision. The overthrow of Saddam Hussein, that military action, was a resounding success. I support breaking Iran's control over the nuclear fuel cycle at certain key points. The uranium enrichment facilities, the uranium by bombing facility, right? by that or whatever, whatever we can use. So that would be military action Absolutely. against Iran. Absolutely. You've written an op-ed today in the New York Times, and here's the headline. It's an eye-catcher. To stop Iran's bomb bomb Iran. I'm afraid, given the circumstances, that's the only real option open to us now. The fall of Saddam, no, did not make Iran stronger. What made Iran stronger, ultimately, was the withdrawal of American forces uh, in 2011. I do think that it would be in our interest to overthrow this regime in Syria. The best time to have done it would be right after we overthrew Saddam Hussein when we had hundreds of thousands of Americans. Yeah, but where do we draw the line? You've called for regime change in Iraq, Libya, Iran, and Syria. In the first two countries, we've had regime change, and obviously it's been I'd say a disaster. I think no, we agree. No, okay. I, I don't agree with that. The only diplomatic option left is to end the regime in North Korea by effectively having the South take it over. I think you've got to argue to that's China. That's not really diplomatic, <laughs> yeah, yeah, as yes, far as it, they're concerned. Well, that's their problem, not ours. Are we going to wind up with, with so many people's lives gone in South Korea, in Seoul, because we make that move? Let me ask you this. How do you feel about dead Americans? The United States makes the UN work when it wants it to work. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly the way it should be because the only question, the only question for the United States is what's in our national interest.